Hey buddy, it's Fitch for Newstar, and this is basically an inventory tutorial setup. It's in its basic form, because in every tutorial I like having basically basically the basics working. You have one item that works, and then when, in the next tutorial we work on two, three, four, and the rest. Remember, this is a action scroller shooter, so it won't be a full uh, user interface like you see in an RPG, but we'll probably get to that later down the road. Right now we're going to start with the basics of an action shooter. As you can see, I've changed some of the stuff up. Some of the items are for uh, them to be removed from the scene, to collect a certain object, then reappear on the screen when you click a button. Uh, some of the code is has been changed, but let's get straight to um, basically what we're going to be doing. So we have the ammo, we have a, a couple buttons. We still can shoot, but we can move. Remember, you need bullets to shoot. So there we go, but there we go, so we can actually see it. So we click this, we click the assault rifle, we hit the X button, and we have our assault rifle, and then we shoot. And then we can click this, and then I'm still working on the shotgun, so basically what you would do is click the shotgun. It would then change your, uh, your sprite to the dude with the shotgun. I'm going to contact um, the author of the sprite and see if he can do some other ones with basically some Halo, other Halo weapons, or something like that. Um, they're just basic enough to where, you know, they're not complicated, but they're, you know, they have enough sprites in them that they actually do work. So if we continually use up the bullets, we're back down to the basics. And then we keep running, running, running. We're going to hit the ammo box crate. And we're back up to 200 bullets. We click that, we click the gun again, exit button. And we're back to shooting. So what did I do? Well, I did have to actually put in a new um, assault rifle. So if you see this, I'm going to leave this in here, the Assault Rifle 6, or Sprite 6, do not use, I'm going to rename it, do not use, so you'll see that, just leave it to the side, we're going to be using it for other tutorials, because, you know, it does have the switching on, on, off and on, um, and I want to keep that in this tutorial, but right now we'll be moving to a new Assault Rifle, called Sprite 31 and we're going to keep the shotgun Sprite 19 for some reason the old assault rifle would not work when I put it in the code. So what did I do? Well I changed on all the touched sprites so untouched uh, 31 set state to 2 on um, let's see there's one more untouched 31 set animation rifle that's basically all I did. And then what I did was on touched orange button, set all these to their position. So set all these, like, you know, the box, exit buttons, and the guns to. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm kind of tired. To uh, where they're supposed to be. Now I'm actually going to set. This just hop of no, not that one. Oh, it's a shotgun. Here we go. Let's check something real quick. There we go. We're good to go. Okay, so basically, it's telling it to appear where the um this uh, what do you call it? He, the, the green dot is and then where these blue squares are and then where this little green smudge is it's basically those uh, base you you would actually turn those invisible or slide opacity so that you can see them while you're working and then when you're developing or uh, exporting the game you would actually just make them invisible totally um and then what you do is on touch of uh, the exit button is you do is you set everything back to a center point basically this orange and green smudge so they're always being they're always in the game but they're not being rendered on scene so they don't take up any CPU power so we can debug the layout 
Um, so we're moving, we're moving, we're moving. We're running at about 30, f thir between 30 and 40 frames per second. And then we hit this. Change that, exit off that, and we start shooting. Object count is about 40. We click here, show on 40. So it's always rendering the same amount of sprites. Um, we're always staying around 35, 40 frames per second. Okay. Um, so that that is about it. Most of it's actually just in the actual layout. Again, we'll actually be I'll be um, putting in I'll probably do another tutorial on switching items so we can switch the shotgun. And what I'll probably do is end the action platformer tutorial. This tutorial and. But I'll still be keeping the user interface. Like I said, we will actually be doing a uh, top-down uh, turret shooter, which I will actually be putting, implementing a uh, inventory in, or you know, a drag and drop inventory where you drag a tower onto a scene, you put it there, and it shoots enemies. And that one should actually be pretty short. And then what I want to do is I want to do a RPG tutorial. Um, these are all going to be kind of small, not not too large, because we're still very into the introduction. And then what I'll probably do from there is move on to more complicated, uh, not more complicated, but more, you know, um, heavier items to work to. So we'll be taking this and making it more advanced. Um, I've also been looking for sprites. I've been wanting, I've been uh, looking at some sprites at uh, sprite resources. But again, I don't want to use too many of those because I could get into some uh, legal issue. Um, so I'll I'll still look there for some sprite for some temporary things, um, maybe some towers or whatever and then for the RPG I'll probably use a whole bunch of them temporarily so uh, guys hopefully this helped out I know it's kind of short there wasn't a whole lot to it the user interface is uh, the inventory is kind of easy you just have to keep track of everything we'll be messing around with uh, ammo so um, it'll be kind of like okay I have you know seven spells or six different type of other spells. I have a healing potion. So we'll be slowly getting into that, but we're going to keep with, okay, I have um, you know, 200 assault rifle bullets, but I only have 30 shotgun shells. So we'll be playing around with that in the next tutorial along with switching weapons. And then, like I said, then we'll go and take a, a little short break, move on to tower defense, and then move on to a RPG like game. Again, guys, if you have any questions or would like a t specific type of tutorial request or a single video uh, informing, you know, more information about something or, or just you know, requesting something or clarifying something, totally just, you know, put, put it down below and uh, downstairs. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I usually look uh, look at the comments every two to three days, um, or you know, for up to date comments, they usually hit me uh, every day. So I go and remember to check the email. I'll put the email that link down below if you would like a answer right away, and I can put up a really quick video detailing information. And or if you would like a new series or game walkthrough, I have been doing game walkthroughs. I'm waiting for a particular a particular computer com component so I can put in a new graphics card. So then I can start doing uh, walkthroughs without going to another PC or anything like that. And um, without further ado or whatever, I will be seeing you guys in the next video. So stick around, and I really enjoy the support that you've been showing the channel, and I hope I can do um, better videos to tell you that, you know, I, I really enjoy it. Bye, guys.